Welcome back to round two of pools over here in the Missouri Championships Invitational at Blue Springs versus Fox High School. Um, anyway, we have draft already done. Joining me in the booth once again, Bubblegum Troll King. Bubblegum Troll King, what are you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking about this about this draft? It is a really interesting draft, to say the least. Um, letting unwarded land that land the support they gave him having leona yeah. that is an absolute death sentence for any team trying they try to target his uh his thrash which we saw him play quite a lot last tournament but simply because he's a good counter pick into route but what unwarded can do with leona is absolutely disgusting this bot lane will have no chance at all yeah this yeah, Thresh Leona Vane, and to be quite honest, Thresh isn't super great support. He's a yeah, he's an early game monster, but you start falling off, and even in Blue Springs right team comp, they'll have enough just pure scaling to compensate for that. But now with a Leona on the field, Grant Unwarded's main, it's it's over. Yeah, that's definitely true. Once again, we are seeing a very similar team comp, again, with Urga in the top lane, Volibear in the jungle. I think this is a really um, interesting addition to the team. Volibear has become a really, really strong jungler with the recent um, adjustments he's gotten, um, the buffs he's gotten to his jungle clear, just making him so much more efficient, similar to how he was with initial release of his, of his rework, allowing him to really take that dominant top laner style pressure that he can apply and just move it all around the map. Yeah. Especially now with his, with Volibear buffs. Now Volibear is so much more viable in the jungle. Absolutely. Before, he was kind of a, like a wet blanket. I'm like, yeah, you could run Volibear. We'll just find somebody else to carry the team. Don't worry. But now no, Volibear. Volibear is definitely one of the strongest junglers um, in this patch right now. But something else interesting we see is Twirly on the Syndra. Syndra in the mid lane, trying to take more of a carry-oriented approach for the mid lane. Um, it looks like Blue Springs is really confident. It doesn't look like a, they're going to be losing anything, especially if uh, this Fiddlesticks gets punished early, which I have no doubt about it. And this Jinx... Can Jinx dodge? We're That's going to find part. out. We are Leone going to find out. Auto track. That, but what I find really curious is Blue Springs just runs carries. That's all they do. Urgot carry, Bane carry, Leona carry. I mean, I feel they've learned that there's no reason to to be afraid because their skills just outmatch every single opponent they've they, they've gone against they're on a completely not they're on a entirely another level in a completely separate league they're not really different, in fact but we will see we'll see if they can if they can out 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 maneuver them this isn't battle so we'll see if this is or not battle this isn't uh heckman so we'll see if this can be the second team to pull off a win against the strings we will find out. They are going for the invade. Of course, with the Leona vein. But there Leona. is vision. They do see where they are. Vein not taking W first. Taking roll. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the five-man invade bot side. This may be a more lane-oriented approach. Not really trying to focus on this invade because I they're probably pretty confident in how the invade's going to go. So I really don't think they have any concerns. It looks like blue side is playing safe, just cutting their losses and letting them run around. Yeah. Wasting and it looks like board. Blue Springs isn't even gonna go for the go for the steel. I really think going for the steel would have been an excellent idea, especially against a farming oriented jungler such as Fiddlesticks. Um, especially if you can um, like clear his red side back and kill him at your red side if he so tries to do anything fishy. Yeah, we'll 
see his standard leash. No vision on the on allied red buff. Which is honest I did not really well to speak on how good of a pick that is. Um, I really don't think I have to worry because if Phil six tries to invade, it's it's a really bad decision because there's no way that he's ever going to be able to duel a Volibear. Yeah. In in any see, regard. We can already see this Diana in mid lane getting, getting aggressive, getting poked out by Torley. Starting to make up some of those trades. We'll see if Urgot can just dominate against this set. As he's done before. But I, I what do you think about the Yumi support? I, I um, can't think of I think Yumi. it's an I think you know, I think it's almost a good decision simply because it's one less pair of feet that have to dodge. True. And against the Leona... It's one less pair of feet that can instantly explode. Yeah. Less... It's one less champion that can get that. One less champion that can... Yeah, but what we really needed to see is this Jinx is... going cleanse. There is not going unwarded. cleanse for the Jinx is an absolute death sentence. Unwarded there's nothing taking that they're able to do about the classic it. level 2 dive strategy. Jinx able to dodge it, but never have I ever been prouder of this bot lane than right now. Volibear has been a little bit slow on this first clear. Um, Wait, Fiddlesticks leagues ahead three. of the clear. Getting the flash But it does kind of pay off. Doesn't matter if you have a slow clear, if you can punish the laners anyhow. Crazy Frog taking quite a few pokes from Jinx. Diana playing it safe. Fiddlesticks coming mid. Rotating. Yeah. Syndra trying this to make Fiddlesticks is in a very precarious situation. That is a dead... Getting the flash yeah, out. Absolutely. They just had a feeling that the Fiddlesticks would be there. And they came to... Wall upon him. That's godlike. Beautiful. We game. are getting a little bit of a peek at an interesting bug that has been going around this patch with Yumi. Any champion that Yumi hops on now permanently has the cat ears by their name. Oh, it's not nice. On their champion. You know that. And it, it makes this extraordinarily confusing to try and make sense of in a team fight who Yumi is actually on. True. I didn't think about that, unfortunately. I was about to say, that's just So nice we have two out of four right now. Yeah. But... Can, can it looks can like Volibear is going to try and camp this mid lane. This mid lane is taking a lot of punishment and is going to die. First blood going over to the Syndra carry in the middle. Send set diving, trying to go all in on this Urgot. Maybe trying to get a good couple, good good lead on him. If he can't get the CS lead, he sure as heck can get the kill lead. But it looks like he won't get much off of it. Yeah, I think Ryan really just has an extensive knowledge of all these particular matchups with Ryan Urgot, and is able too. to punish punish set accordingly because. He he knows the ins and outs of both Set and Urgot, and there's no way that he is going to lose this lane. There we go. There's a Leona engage. Yet, yet another game. Ink down at the bot lane, trying to engage for the Volibear, but nothing really comes out of it. Unfortunate. Got the Jinx splash and heal. No summoner spell pings coming out from blue side. Something interesting is Blue Springs has not yet made a play for Dragon. They're really just commanding control of Dragon. Um, Dave McNugget wasting time in the Fiddlesticks jungle for suspecting that a Fiddlesticks would have a camp in his jungle. Never. Never. Couldn't Fiddle be Fiddle. No, absolutely not. Uh, and Wardage for maybe trying trying to get Cannon here as he, try, as he gets his Spoils of War stacks. Ryan poking out this set, getting a PTA proc. This Urgot in the top lane has just been consistently able to kite the set. Because um, the set pulls, Urgot saves his dash to There's escape the, the pull, and he just kites him all the way down. Uh, Leona's stun. The E. There we go. 
and that's that's game. That's that sure is they fed bot lane, huh? Oh, dying anyways, even with the double kill for the Yumi. Double kill for the Yumi. Yo, what Yumi, a Yumi. disaster of a dive. What a, what a disaster of a dive. Not that even wave, a... they they didn't push the wave hard enough, and it just didn't crash. And instead, it they 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 paid the consequences. Yeah. They they forego they they forego the basics, and this is what happens. Uh, Remember the basics, getting, everybody. Probably getting an excellent kill in mid lane, but Ryan just gave, going to take the all in here. No questions. Set trying to ulti his way out of it. Or got ult coming out just the same. Very interesting um, that Set wasn't actually able to ulti the Urgot under turret. Um, Ryan was probably very aware of this and tried to maneuver out of that way, cleverly sidestepping to angle the ult in a different direction when they were scrapping on top of each other. Yeah. This Once again, this is beautiful game sense from Ryan over here. You mean trying to get a poke? Trying to get her friggin' support item. Because as it stands now, she's only about 200 gold on it, where Unward is about to get his tier 1 support. Absolutely. I mean, even with Yumi's two kills, you really can't do anything if your ADC is going to be shut down that easily. Uh, this Jinx, it was absolutely imperative that the Jinx took Cleanse to be able to survive both the condemn coming out from from this vein, as well as the sh uh, the shield of daybreak from the Leona. It looks like we may see a lane gank from the fiddlesticks, just as Volibear is coming, and it looks like they did not expect the fiddle, and the fiddle is going to pick up a kill. We see the Urkot teleport bot lane. A bit of a questionable decision, not really getting anything out of it and uh, about to lose a couple tower plates to the top lane very easily a bit, a bit of a questionable i'm gonna say it's worth it because now they're able to secure dragon now they had player? dragon secured they had dragon secured four minutes ago when it first spawned Fair. they just never decided to take it until now is i i really don't think this was a great decision because now now Seth's starting to catch back up, which I suppose isn't the worst thing in the world, being able to focus down bot side. But if this set stays too greedy, um, he does get two plates, and it looks like he will make it out, noticing the Urgot on the ward. And it doesn't look like Urgot's going to get anything out of it. Just lost two turret plates. Devil sticks that's, just perish. That's a kill's worth of gold going into Seth's pocket. Now, Fiddlesticks just perishing from Syndra, picking up bad dive here mid lane. Absolutely. It looks like this game, uh, this Syndra is going to be the one um, popping popping these opponents with these purple swirly balls of death. Yeah, that's what Syndra does, man. That's literally all her character is, buddy. But uh... All those little black holes. It's it's kind of hard to beat a black hole. True, they are kind of hard. Kind of hard to kind of hard to escape it. it I, I I was watching this uh, this uh, this speech from Neil deGrasse Tyson the other day, mm -hmm. right? And he was talking about black holes and what happens when two black holes collide, um, right? So apparently, um, some doctor made wrote his doctoral thesis on. Uh, black holes colliding and apparently there is a route you can take around black holes as the event horizons get near and cross over each other that if you take this specific path you will end up before you start it in time wow so time is mathematically time travel is mathematically possible you just have to go and past. maybe that's what we're gonna see from twirly just time ripping apart space and time yeah. on these opponents, standing no chance. Teleporting ahead so that it looks like to... there is a four-man oh. dive. Just starting off with the ult. That was the a turret beautiful. is not gonna save them. That was 
That was there we go. Disgustingly good. Look at look at those little two orbs overlapping, and the Yumi just disappeared. Probably went back to the Stone Age by now. Yeah, no, he's, she's she's gone. She's long one. gone. No worries. Yep. Going back before time, before that double kill ever happens. Urgot getting dove here by the. Yeah. Fence. Nothing happening though. Just, mm. just, just Urgot stuff. Oh, Leona almost dying. Popping the Blitzcrank thinking though. Not having any of it. All right, we do see a bit of a vision struggle looking at all the wards, but Blue Springs is really dominating, especially in this um, bottom side jungle. They will but take first with this Herald, off. if they had pushed a little harder, I think they could have secured um, first tower, but chunking down this tower as Ryan let it get low, I think this is a great decision. And the set probably could have made it out, but playing it safe just to make sure that he doesn't get caught and those black coals rolling around twirly. Yeah. Shelly is just not able to do it. Not this time. She's not feeling it today. Soon she'll be able to see yeah. powers. Well, her brother Sheldon will be, that is. That is true. We will be seeing Sheldon appear in about four and a half minutes, and yeah. we'll see if anyone decides to do something with that. Yeah, that was a really early... Uh... Oh, and there was a kill for... Syndra. Oh, not quite. Ignite not, not being quite able to pull it out, but Diana now crazy low. A bit of an interesting predicament that yeah. this Jinx just got put in being ganked by their own laner. Yeah, I love to see it. And the Yumi once again barely making it away. Uh, it's just one less set of this Yumi. This guard. Yumi has a knack to yeah, one less pair of feet that can that have to dodge one less yeah. pair of feet that can be stunned by leona ult and it looks like this is an easy kill for the fiddlesticks oh if he's able to capitalize oh a flash it looks he very well yeah, could kill insane. crazy frog oh and jinx Ooh, stealing giving kill. it over to the jinx uh the prop wow off of the off of the the uh, predator rolling in and getting that extra bit of damage. Oh, but but Urgot getting absolutely more ridiculous. Top lane. We uh, may see some strong contestion in this game. Yeah. Is this going to be the team that is able to fight back against Blue Springs? We see Chem Tank popping from the Vola Bear, but not being able to secure enough damage. Or CC before it falls off, not timing that Q properly to land the stun. Yeah, unfortunate, but that is life. And Infernal Drake is now is up. Indeed. The strings looks like they will get it with a four stack. Can't imagine them making. All it. right, so this is a second Drake. Bets, what do you think it is? Um, give me. It's, oh, it's Ocean. Ocean so. I was gonna guess Cloud. Oh, I guess. Uh, Ocean Soul. Well, Ocean Soul, arguably one of the, the river. Four are not running dry anytime soon. Nope, and it is the rain. The, the rains have come in. Have I ever told April you why? are upon us. Yes, and they have brought May flowers, in fact. We've teleported ahead of months. Fun fact. Have I told you uh, why, why Ocean Soul is the best soul? Why is it the best soul? It's the best soul because the map has a bunch of bushes. And who doesn't love bush gaming? It's not about but how see, good your dragon is and what buffs it gets or whatever numbers you're going to pull out there. It's about how much bush Exactly. Not only are there more bushes, so you get quantity of They're something that's quality. already spectacular. You also get quality. There's like, flowers. look at all these beautiful flowers and those bushes. The riot floors. Who wouldn't want to, like, just sit in the bush and smell those beautiful lilies? Yeah, exactly. The We're all pink, and there's some purple in there. Yeah. There's a ward down in the bot lane. True. I didn't know they grew wards. Must you be know, a special attribute. Ward Farms LLC. That's that's what unwarded side business is, you know? I guess so. That's how his vision so. is so high. He, he, he just grows them. 
Yeah, grows them out of bushes. Yeah, that's how that's how he gets so many. That's how his vision score is like eighty one at you know twenty minutes. That's how he does it. Chris. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, a, a See. Leona ult just being wasted right there. Unfortunate. Doesn't matter. Wow, Leona E just just reaching apparently. That was that was egregious. Stretching a really really long way. Yeah. Um, volume is distant. This so. fiddlestick's getting invaded by the Urgot, and the fiddlestick the does steal his blue back. He does get it back and sends Urgot on the run. But Urgot, not, not nearly out of it. He's just going to take some honey fruit and say, come at me. You, you want to take this all in? And send Urgot with ulti up? One of you dies. Absolutely. We'll get autoed. If he had stayed there any longer, he would be at great risk because this Fiddlesticks is on the verge of hitting 11. We'll hit it right after he kills this next wolf. There it's... Surprise. Oh, and now he's just going to come in try and contest the volley. Not going to... Not going to get anything off of it, though. So... Ah, dang. That's two turrets for Blue Springs. That... That was a real crucial moment. Hitting 11 as Fiddlesticks and having that big spike where you can do a bunch of damage and it just fell apart. He didn't get anything out of it. Which is really devastating to see. Not something you want to be seeing as, as Fiddlesticks missing that crucial um, tide turning kill. Rather embarrassingly for the set, he's let his, he's let his words stack up. Set has stopped visioning. He's, he's let his ward stack up, and now he's uh, kind of sad. Such is the crux of a top laner. Yes. But then again, we're, we're targeting the set, and we look at our own crazy frog AK-47. True. Who has never placed a ward of this game. One. A grandiose vision score of one. I think he's placed one. I think that's out of principle, actually. I don't think he places wards, period. I think he's... He just doesn't. That's I his, see. That's in, that's in his first book. You would know if you would have read the series. I mean, that's okay. You have unwarded growing wards out of bushes. Yeah. I, I don't think you need any more wards. Same place they get the Fiddlesticks out. pulling off a bit of a mental game play. Yeah. Standing still, pretending to be an effigy, and unwarded just turns away. Yeah. I'm, I'm, honestly, it makes sense. Why take those risks? Absolutely. Diana now getting the cat's blessing with the permanent cat ear. Set still being not added cat to her name. Yeah, Set is unwanted, I suppose. Poor Set. Urgot not seeing the uh, blue ward. Strolling right past it. You know, better. Yeah. <laughs> better vision wins. Not not like wards or anything. Just like if you have two eyes, you're good. Absolutely. Two eyes and you're doing fine. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's challenger right there. All the best challenger players. But see, eyes. but see, crazy frog AK47. He, he he has two eyes. He just decides to cover them up because otherwise it would yeah, be way too easy to win. Wait. Otherwise he'd be signed to. Vane Vane right putting that blind blindfold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you'd be they'd, they'd be winning winning worlds already. Don't worry. Absolutely, I'm looking at how devastating it, he already is. It's cool. Um, like he he could like one v five, like no. he could have his own team play against them and, and just win. Yeah, no, just just give him like a level two advantage and that's it. That's it. Just start him off at level two and he's good. It looks like Sheldon also was not feeling the groove today. Just kind of yeah. diving yeah. into the tower, decided yeah. he had enough. It's yeah. time to go home. He was he was done for the day. He, he did, he's union, you know. All right, 20 minutes has hit, and Blue Springs is oh. at soul point. Five of them stacked up in a bush. The glory of bushes Got in, double kill. in the, the ocean rift. Smelling the flowers. The ocean gotta, rift. Gotta, gotta come there every once in a while. Is that, is that the one in the, uh, in, the, in the league uh, vernacular? That one in the dictionary? But it looks like Blue Springs will be It dead. definitely should be. Yeah, taking Baron here. Wow, Vayne just doing too much damage at this point. Kraken Slayer on top of PTA, on top of her W. It's just disgusting. They shred this Baron. Um, but concerning how 
a lot of teams up against Blue Springs have fared. This team, Battle High School, is doing quite well. Or sorry, not not Battle High School. Fox High School. Fox Here's High the School. They have spot. fared quite well. The Crazy Frog doesn't what is have a kill. That Crazy Zero Frog indeed does not have a kill. Amazing. He got soloed by a Yumi. The, yeah. He just... He, he probably okay. felt he needed he needed to just take a break from this game. Yeah, he, he and I mean, okay. I don't think there's any recovering after being soloed by a Yumi. Yeah. Uh, Yumi double kill, especially? Yumi double kill. Out game. I mean, play. Yumi is really the carry in this game. Yeah, Yumi, having Yumi the best KDA so far. Yeah, it, as we see in uh, in patch 11.8, 11, Yumi ADC is just it's so much more viable here. The Yumi rework and all the Yumi buffs. Her base exactly. AD is especially, that I mean, w especially when you go into a solo lane and get Moonstone Renewer and like yes. never pair up with a champion. I mean, I think it's really common courtesy to just not share the health with your team because otherwise you just be too powerful by yourself. Yeah. You're already yeah already wailing. Now, this fiddlesticks trying to ult, but. By the time he ulted, everyone was light years away. Yeah, he's burning ult. Burning ult like this Urgot is going to burn some souls. Ooh, this Jinx burning a flash after the burning sun crashes down in front of the tower from that Leona. Damn, are you really proud of that one? Proud of that pun? I'm proud of that pun. I don't know. I've been I've been throwing out the puns this game. It's, it's coming to it's just, it's just uh, that one. That one was a little sad. Uh, it was a little sad. I got. I, I got to be honest. It, 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 it's sad for Fox High School, honestly, and their 9k gold difference. But it yeah. It I I suppose so. I suppose so. But I mean, they're they're not at a 12k deficit. True. Like true. um like last game where but Battle High School was in the trenches. They also don't have. But a they also do not have a dragon, and yeah. Blue Springs is at soul point. So, ah. really, oh dear, another kill, and that is the diving power of Leona. Yeah, no, Leona. Leona is a champion. Yeah, I lock it. Yeah. Yeah, Go, opting for lock it because you have Volibear engaged is actually really smart. Ryan in the top lane just dueling oh, under no. turret, no still full health. While dueling under turret, of course he's just he's just grooving. Uh, yeah, he oh, takes Yurga. no damage from Yurga. the turrets. That, Absolutely. That Four point five Omni vamp, however small it is at this point, is very big because just the we're sheer seeing. Amount of damage. Oh, there's volley ult, and that's a dead fiddlesticks, and that's a dead Yumi. It Which certainly is. is. He used his stopwatch, wasted the stopwatch even, and. Yeah. There, there goes the fiddlesticks. Unfortunately, sad sights to see. Sad sights to see. Alrighty. Something interesting this game is that the fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks of everyone, is contesting the legendary unwarded for vision score. Uh, that's... The fiddlesticks has placed or has gathered a vision score of 55 compared to unwarded's. Now, just now, 58. That's quite big. That, that is, is already, like, an impressive I'm, competition. Yeah, I would. I'm to it's already, try like, and be out a support. Yeah. A support and a support as good as Unwarded, that's... You get to... You get to put that one on the wall. You get to get that one on the fridge. But it looks like they will get soul here. Absolutely. Soul. Two ocean souls. Which is not really unfortunate. Fiddlesticks trying to look for an ult play, but the Blue Springs team is just too oppressive. And they sweep up all four dragons, and they're scooting on their way. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in this Yumi. She hasn't, she hasn't gotten the set yet. We're still on three of four. We need all the cat ears. Yeah, I mean... Absolutely agree. We need it, it's that it's is why they are losing this game. If they pull out the cat ears, if they pull out their 
Yes, this, they are this, juggling the red buff. This this Syndra is Skarner. Skarner Gaming. But it's a mid laner. Skarner Gaming. Yeah. But it's a mid laner. It is Syndra. Bullying the poor... Red um, Brambleback. Brambleback. I, imagine if you were just a Brambleback, living in your home, taking a bath in, in the rain, yeah. smelling the nice lilies that are popping up in your house and then someone with a bunch of fancy schmancy black holes just like sucks you out of your home cinder dying big for in this team fight uh, definitely big in the team fight but, but crazy still, frog exists yeah. and therefore this team with ocean soul exist. nonetheless so that vein will absolutely just, you know not as good as so, probably Mountain Soul would Blue be. Blue Springs is basically back at full health after yeah. that team. Basically, they all get Warmogs. Just casually back at full health after yeah. the fight. Nothing nothing concerning at all. No. I just wanted to make it a little more fair. But Baron is up again. Hopefully we'll start to Absolutely. see... Uh, hopefully we'll start to see Blue Springs getting another... But we can really see that... That uh, Fox High School... Is pulling out the try hard boots now. Yeah. Putting them on, hopping oh, onto that man. set, and getting the golden four cats. Yeah. Trying I don't to, know. Trying to put on the boots a little Can bit. they beat the four cats charm? It, it seems kind of concerning to me, but they do have the power of a big lizard monster on their side now. Cute. The crazy frog not really sure. mastery before he backs. Beautiful. And it looks like, uh, yep, Unwarded seeing the, the uh, Fiddlestick's vision scar will grab Watchful Wardstone. He's having none of it. He's, he's going to be securing that top vision for this tournament. He is certainly trying. It is 60 to 68. I mean, this, this, is, this is the tighter competition than any of the games Blue Springs is actually going to play. Yeah, no. I mean, this is the fight of a century this in league right here. The game isn't important. This world's never heard of. Graham, Unwarded's vision score? Biggest thing I can think of right now. Biggest blowing my mind. Well, this yeah. Fiddlesticks. This Fiddlesticks is trying. Yeah. Uh, but just being shoved in, not having any opportunities to get Really strong vision plays. I'm so he's, proud. This, he's struggling. This Yumi finally getting the set, his cat ears. Absolutely. I mean, enough, can you beat four cat ears? It's enough to make a person cry. See, now, now what if, theoretically, I'm Yumi listening. big brained it and went in between Twirly's twirling little black holes and went back in time in Yumi'd the Yumi. You know, I think that would I think that would be game breaking. I think the world five would not cat win. ears five There's... cat ears, I wouldn't even know what to do with five cat ears. Well that um while you were saying like, that you know, sing, simple two sentence phrase, the entire team got deleted and now the team fight is over. And the game is Yeah, over, once so. again the Yumi survives. Unwarded just getting it the is, vision score up over here. It is the sad adventure of Yumi just trying to find her way back home to her yeah. owner. Being shot at again and again. By but a vampire hunter that, and on some gas. That is it for me, Bubblegum Troll King, and um, Casey as Schwa. Uh, this is, game three is going to be hosted by another high school or by a college and we'll be hosting that on our channel so you can check back in for that so, happening in about 30 minutes yeah tomorrow starts All uh right. bracket rounds check back in we'll be here we'll see you fine folks later all right wonderful signing off